Okay everybody, welcome to this new video. Today we will be talking about the Royal Trials, the new game mode that got introduced this weekend. In the background you will be seeing some game footage from me playing the event. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy these types of videos, please leave a like, drop a comment or even subscribe. That would help out a lot. Now let's go on about the Royal Trials. You can see I'm going to start with a tip, something I made a mistake in. Um, you can see that window popping up right before your game starts. You can see the red X. I lost my first match because I started with some shitty deck I made. Uh, my last deck and you can see the first deck it has a glow around it that glow means um, you selected that deck for some reason my last deck was selected not my first deck and I lost my first game but after that it was smooth sailing so let's see what happened <laughs> game you're seeing in the background against Mr. Dr. Dingelinger or how do you pronounce it was probably my toughest match in the trials uh, so good game to you my friend he's playing sort of some sort of hex deck combination so yeah um, during this video I will giving some comments on what I think about the trials how they are right now and we will go from there and see what happens so keep watching if you want to know what I think about the Royal Trials first things first the developers clearly stated this is the first time they're launching this kind of event so they're looking for our feedback the players feedback and they are also looking for statistics and every bit of information they can find during this event. So make sure to go to the official Discord server and give your opinion. Do this in a constructive fashion. Go to the right channel, I think it's called Game Suggestions. Go to that channel and post your feedback so they know what you think and what you think needs to be changed very important to do that that way these events will become better for everybody in the future the question I got a lot what do you think is the best deck to play Royal Trials well the way it works now it's very obvious there is a couple of decks that are better than all the others as you can see I'm playing Meteor uh, one of the newer decks this is definitely one of the decks uh, that's sticking out uh, other good decks will be the classic Shaman Agro deck or that exact same deck but with Engineer instead of Boreas that will also work and falling right behind that you could make some kind of hex variation like you can see in the video right now uh, that also works pretty good I'm not saying these are the only decks that work there's probably other combinations where you guys had success with so feel free to post them to share them if it works it works of course, after stating this, the first question I get is I don't have Harlequin, I don't have Summoner, oh no, I can't compete in this trial. That's not exactly right, you can, you know, make changes to your deck, but I also agree that this is my first comment, one of the flaws uh, in the trials um, that could be fixed by for special events like this making sure everybody has access to all the cards that's one of the fixes that could happen which I also gave as my personal feedback suggestion to the dev team um, so they at least have some kind of uh, constructive feedback I can see this being frustrated when you don't have all the cards and you're basically in a disadvantage but also for the players that do have all the cards and are more experienced this is not really fun because they can just walk through uh, okay it's an easy way to get uh, the uh, rewards but yeah there's no challenge to that so that's definitely something they need to work on to make it better for everybody so if you have any suggestions go post them one of the biggest disadvantages for me 
in this event is the fact out of the 45 available cards, there is like 10 cards that are overpowered for this kind of event. So if you have those 10 cards and they are not banned, yeah, you have a big advantage. The people that don't have those cards have a big disadvantage. That's uh, obvious. Also, there's like three main DPS units in the game right now, being Inquisitor, Boreas and Engineer. And Inquisitor was banned. So I can also understand that the Inquisitor players uh, are kind of mad or feel left out, but that's part of the game. But then you have two cards left. If you don't have Boreas, then you have a real big disadvantage because Boreas is simply better than Engineer. You know, so those kinds of things should be worked out in one way or another. So it becomes more fair for everybody, but also uh, there is a challenge and everybody can compete. But the real problem where this leads to, for me, is the fact that fun goes out of the, the idea of this event. So you should be able to theory craft, play around with cards you usually don't play with because in the in the meta, in the, the ladder, these cards aren't strong enough. So now would have been a perfect time to play around with these cards. So it would have been a leveled playing field for everybody and you could like test and try and see which card uh, would have the most benefit for you. Right now, this is not the case because certain decks are way stronger than other decks. If you can play those decks, you have an advantage. If you can't play those decks because you're missing cards, you can't. So that's not really fair for everybody. And it's also not fun for the people that have the cards because they don't have any challenge as I already mentioned, but anyway, I'll say it again. So if you have any feedback to solve these problems, go to the official Discord server and give your feedback. Now let's talk about the rewards. I personally think they're good, even really good, especially if you buy that extra pack. So the first thing I notice is a lot of gold. I've gotten a lot of gold, which I like. I could, uh, I, I was able to do some upgrades, so that's good. Then I've noticed a couple of um, legendary cards, which is always nice, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, with the best thing for me being the vampire emoticon, the smiley. I, I love the vampire, so I'll be spamming that the next couple of days just because I like it. Now the downside is probably I've seen a lot of discussion about the price. I think $10 for me is fine, but I know in other countries or maybe yeah, other parts of the world this price is maybe a bit too much and doesn't really compete against prices from other games. Um, on top of that you have the exchange rate, I'm not sure how that works exactly, I think it also has something to do with the Google store and the Apple store and whatever, but also that makes it that in other countries the prices go up, so maybe if they can they should do something about that, I'm not sure. <laughs> same as the ladder. They created a ladder next to a ladder, a mini tournament. Uh, again, there is no scoreboard of any kind, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, I was hoping on maybe like 2v2 uh, PvP battles, that would have been something nice. Maybe that's coming in the future, we don't know, but you know, that's maybe my critique uh, of this event. Other than that, I don't want to exaggerate it, it's new content, it's a new event we got, it's an extra way to earn rewards, to get more crit rate, to get extra legendary cards, so I would be grateful that they did the effort. and. They want to learn, they want to know what we're doing, so I can't stress that enough. Give your feedback and the next events can only go better. Give them ideas, give them feedback.
As far as uh, the matchmaking goes, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I think um, there is a lot to be said and done here, but it's complicated. So I think a lot would help if the less experienced players have all the cards available during the event, because that way you can fight with the same weapons, basically. So it doesn't really matter too much that you only have 3000 trophies and the other guy has 6000 trophies if you have the same cards because you can do the same things. So it's just the difference then is experience. Maybe the, the, the 6,000 trophy guys has a lot more hours into the game than you, and that could be his experience, but that's what he works for. So that's okay in my opinion. But even weapons, I think that could solve a lot. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I want to thank you for watching. There's some more gameplay to be shown, so you can keep watching the gameplay, enjoy the music, but I'm gonna stop talking. To wrap it up, I would say it's good they're willing to listen and they're willing to work on it, so we can have better events in the future. That's a very important part. I think we should be grateful for the chance to get extra rewards and to have new content. So they're actively developing, it's also a very positive point. And other than that, I would say enjoy the game and have fun. Remember to leave a like or a comment and subscribe, that would help me out a lot. And enjoy the footage, see you later guys.
If you like this video, please leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. That would help a lot. I hope to see you guys on the battlefield.